Detroit, USA, Lonnie Ice Johnson. And the challenger, you know him and love him. Put your hands together for local hero, Tom the Chief It's all right, isn't it, eh? He's on a wage. Look, Steve's got an eight-round and he needs a good sparring partner. Tom, you haven't even got a gum shield in. Get out. I need the money, Joe. See? Joe, I need the money, mate. And if you need a job, I'll get you a job. Now, get out. Look, if he wants to spar, it's his own choice. Not in my gym, it's not. He's got a deep fucking touch. Retina, he'll get it. Now, get out. Listen, Tom. Time to hang them gloves up, mate. Do you know you? You should know fucking better. Yeah, I've got a couple of oranges in me bag. Good for your sperm count. Eat an orange a day. Don't be a jaffa. Get it? What? It's got no seeds. A jaffa's got no seed. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let me finish. There's only me and Eddie, right? And it doesn't take a genius to work out that someone's already told him, right? So later that night, he slips it into the conversation again. Have you fucked Bernie? Have you fucked Bernie? Well, I got wise to him this time, right? I said, me, no, Dear Mr. Watts, why, having received your test results, we write this letter to regretfully inform you. <sighs> well, he's a big intimidating man, is our Eddie, you know? I mean, anyone can knock out a drunk. Or slap a kid around. And we're the last thing I heard that he's living with Bernie the Nymph. Left his wife and two kids. How much are you getting paid? Thanks, Bob. But no thanks. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Paul. That's the lad, the lad I was talking about. That's Tom Watts. Used to be a good middleweight. Do you remember him? The yank at the stadium. But he needs a job. I said I'd have a word. All right. Nice one. Yeah, yeah cheers. Keep me in mind. Nice one, Joe. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. What's up with you? Nothing. Free. This is it, is it? Yeah. This is it. Great, isn't it? It's all official. I'm a fucking chaffer. A what? What are you talking about? Nothing. Never mind. Make some money. What? Got a start on the clubs as a doorman. A doorman? I'm not having that. You've got no saying the matter. You're going nowhere. Listen to me, Tom.
Ten months' cards. These is the nights. Set them over. How'd you do that? Ah, never mind. Uh, yeah, you know the story, don't you? While Bill Hickok turned his back on fame and fortune, and got one in the back in the Deadwood, Colorado. Yeah, well, I... Oh. That's how his cards fell. Hey! Hey! Open the new lads better than the other mushes you got me before. Yeah, he's a good kid. Hard hitter, both hands. What? I said he's a good kid, hard hitter, and both hands. A photo by your name, and it looks label too. I will need another photo so we can make up a card for you so you look legit. All right, you've got to go on one of these uh, German courses nowadays. Uh, I think there are a load of bollocks myself, but you're both on one tomorrow. I've never seen such a gang of moody looking mushes in all my life. Uh, the years old there. I'll have to wipe them out. So you're the new boy in town then? Looks that way. I hope you've got what it takes. So do I, girl. So do I. I'm ready. Come love. Show your arm. Yeah. You show you what the wages are? No. Uh, it's 20 uh, of a week, say, which you work on your own. And then it's uh, 25 of a week. But uh, you, you don't start at 11, so you get the same as those who start at 6. And uh, you get a complimentary drink on the house. So? Yeah, it's, it's all right, as long as you don't get pissed. That was cold yoga, sir. Really? Ah. I bought it from a fella whose uncle was given it by a young sailor from Missouri. That's the God's honest truth. Come on. What do you been here for a few weeks? Uh, you probably have a few bimbos with your case, but my advice is fuck them all. Right. Stiff tricks got no conscience and all that. But don't shit on your own doorstep. It's more trouble than it's rare. There you go, you're on. Get her! 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 Get you want to do someone in, take them out the back.
two in there, you're going out. Fuck off, man. I'm having a shit. No, you're not. You're snorting your brains out and you're going out. Come on. Look, I'm not going to tax you. I don't want your money, I don't want your coke. Just fuck off out of here. All right, mate, fair enough. We're on our way out. Here, have a swig. Billy's a fucking teddy boy. Still thinks he's living in the 50s. These days, who's to say those fuckers weren't carrying a piece? Hey, look at him. Got a face on him, hasn't he, eh? Just because I asked him to get his hands dirty. Lazy bastard. Don't know what I'm paying him for. Because he's good, and you know it. Come on. Oh, do you know what, Billy? You're a mingy old bastard. Hey! You... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Oh, God. Wages. Thanks, boss. Stop, Trick. Uh, don't forget to cipher there, all right? Clear that one up, will you? Good touch, this, eh? Hardly have any trouble working here. Most nights we're just standing around, having a bevy, gabbing. The days of the straightener are over. A good meter and greeter is always friendly and polite. If a situation gets out of control, what we expect you to do is close the door and phone the police. <laughs> if a tricky situation forces you to defend yourself, the name of the game is restraint, as I'll now demonstrate. <laughs> Well, hang, hang on. Am I supposed to be some coked-up fucker and you've got to get me out of the club? That's right. And you want me to react? That's right. OK, go ahead. <laughs> OK, so now I'm going to demonstrate what's called a standard gooseneck hold. So how do you get out of this one, then? <laughs> Before you go, I'd like you to meet Chongy. Heard a lot about you. I hope you come on board. I'd sooner stay independent. If you come in with us, I'll look after you. Like I said, I'd sooner stay independent. Come on, the man's being proper. At least think about it. OK, I've thought. I'd sooner stay independent. Catch you later, guys. Out of our league, matey. Out of our league. You could have at least dared them out, you know. I need to get my car insured. Your car insured? All you get is cold steel door slammed in your face for a ten-year stretch. I'm on the police observation tool deck that lot. Come on! You fucking muppages again! Shut! You fucking pair of wankers who do you think you are? Come on! Fucking idiot! Bastard! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Paul. No sweat. Bit of good news. Managed to get another tenner off Billy. He's right. He's a bit of a minge bag, but he's not mad. He knows I'm keeping the place safe and all the bad people out. He's also left us some blazers in this bag.
I do a look. Like a fruit. <laughs> I'm not wearing mine. You must be fucking joking. I wear the blazer, but uh, you can fuck right off with the tie. Hey, it's part of the new Dorman image. Here, let me show you something. Go on, try and get out of that now. <laughs> Anyone who even tries that, I get two or three shots on his chin before he even gets a chance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, baby, chill. Hang on, I'm just gonna have a word with me ex-missus. What's your problem? He's a bigger and better man than you'll ever be. Fucking dealer, that's what he is. You stupid bastard. You haven't Fuck. learned a fucking thing. Shit. You fucking... Oh, shit. You're dead, you are. You're fucking dead. Bitch. She knows how to get to me. She just knows how to get to me. This fucking knows. Be on your toes, matey. Just heard my ex has been round for a fella. Reckons he's gonna do me in. She's with this coke dealer, Romeo Brown. Got everyone petrified. Think I care? I'm quaking in my boots. Is he, is he bad, mate? I'm not asked. Puts one on my toes, I'll plant one right on his chin. It is right. Listen, um, this is not your problem, you know. Hey, I'm there, miss, I'm there. Nice one. But go easy. Lucky me, it. You too. Come on, lads. I've asked you nicely now. Make a move. Nice and gone, It's always the last few. I'll get these out and shut the door. That's right. Come on, folks. Finish your drinks now, will you? No problem. Yes. All right. Good night now, lads. Just finish the meal, folks. <laughs> What fucking plan has he 
are you from? You say nothing, understand? See nothing, know nothing. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah. Everybody off. Back up. Sad enough. You all right, matey? Well, cop with that! You're gonna fucking kill him! Leave it out, you You take from me, you take from you. Ten years of pain, motherfucker. Stick that in your ass pocket and say nothing. He won't be shooting anybody for a while. You okay? My legs are gone. Thanks for backing me up. You all right, kid? You did that. I never. You did? You were swinging wild. I never. Take no notice. He just doesn't want to up your wages. You did all right, kid. Just don't expect any praise from round here. Bling. We going on holiday or what? Because we're in deep water now. Do them the dirty, lads. Do them the dirty. <laughs> 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 What's that about? That is Billy the Cowboy, man. I'm in up to me fucking eyeballs here. Yeah. Romeo pays us for protection. So if we don't deal with this, we'll be a laughing stock. Who's laughing? All I'm saying is get him on the phone. We need guys like Paul. And what about Romeo? Give him a bang. Tell him we dropped it on Paul's toes and he's coughed up. It'll soften the blow. I'm putting my hand in my pocket. Tell him he's gonna cough up. Look, he'll forget it. He'll be having murder with someone else next week. But he's had a bitch slap, and I in intensive care for fuck's sake. Your mate's got no sense what's right or wrong. You don't know who you're dealing with. OK, so the club's a shit -hole, but don't mistake who Paul is. This is his idea of fun. Three tours of duty in Northern Ireland. I've done one with him, I'm telling you. He's the type of man you look to in this situation. Romeo's got dough, but he'll end up getting us all down a swanny. Look what he wants to tell you, cos I won't lie. Tell me what you like. But when Romeo's out, trouble's on its way, and you know it. Stick that under my nose, the sly old bastard. What's the problem? You book the wrong music, you get the wrong crowd. You book r and or drum and bass, you get all the 50 cent wannabes from the area. You book this shite, and every ginger nut, trumped up coke dealer in the city will be here. This particular night, soft ass booked in, no one will touch with the shitty stick, not even Chongi. I was always murder at it. Sorry, lads, your mates wearing trackies, you can't come in. Is this 
get by the dress code. You sure about that? Let them in! Right, it's your shout, whatever you say. What's this now? What's up? I'll give this ten minutes before it kicks off. Well, let's go and get them out, eh? Whoa, whoa, hold your horses, Geronimo. How do you think I survived so long? They're in there now. Let them kick off, then we'll pick up the pieces. And I know for certain that that little twat in there's a shooter. Any man may give me his pin number. All that dosh. Loads of it. <laughs> You're too much. I don't believe the mouth on you. And I've just spiked his ale with half a gram of whiz and a little Viagra. It should get things moving very nicely. Going straight to hell. He's a married man. Oh, he wants to sit in a fluffy cloud. Nah. I know what I want and I'm not afraid to get it. Tell you what. I'm gonna get us some extra dollar for that. Set us up, Billy. He's a it. fucking hero, this man. Okay, no, I'll tell you when he has. What do you do? He's just holding it. He's so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Brand old Scott was getting it shook up or Audi Murphy on a regular basis. Hold on, hold on. You got that one wrong. It wasn't Audi Murphy. Huh? Audi Murphy was the most decorated man of his country. Audi Murphy was a crackerjack marine, for Christ's sake. I mean, he was a war hero. Uh, uh, who was it then? It was Tyrone Power. That's him. That's him. That's him. Tyrone Power. Zello. Yeah, that's it. Hey, hey, I'd tell you another one was a bent as a nine bob note. Lee Marvin. Oh, fuck off. I'm not having that. You're not telling me uh, uh, that Lee Marvin was gay. I'm not Lee having Lee Marvin, fuck off. you should go shopping in a floral dress. <laughs> <laughs> not having that. <laughs> you got my own beard, eh? <laughs> I'm glad you're home. I want to do something today, like a normal couple.
We need to talk to somebody. Don't ignore me, Chris. At least I'm trying. What should I say? My husband's a big-time boxer. Blew all his money, got poxed up. Now he's in Fair Island for some reason. I'm feeling a little bit resentful. I'll let you down badly. Let's just change the subject. I don't want to change the subject. You know, I could put my hand in the fire and what's the fucking thing, Ben? You have no idea how I feel. Well, that's why I think it's Sammy went and spoke to somebody, but you're, you're so fucking ignorant. Hey, come on, come on. Talk to me. Come on, f finish your tea. Tell me how you feel. Do you really want to know? Yeah. I feel like somebody's booted me in the back. That's all right, because that's just the usual period pain. It's much worse than that. I feel like death. Because this month is the anniversary of last month. And every fucking month, I hope I won't come on and it's all your fucking fault! You fucking suck, bastard! Chris! Chris, wait! Just leave me alone. Leave me alone! Hey, kid, fuck off. Mom! Mom! Hey, you. What's wrong with you, you freak, picking on a kid? Go and get me fella for you, shall I? Well, go and get your fucking fella. Anyway, what are you doing bringing your kid up to shoot people for, you dense bastard? I can't believe you've done that. Hey, you fat bastard! Stop doing this iron, you smackhead! Right, Hey, get me. I'm who you. Hey, could you see a way to help a fella out? Who's, who's down on his luck? Hey, please, sir. Okay, buddy. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. Look, any small amount of help. But... Oh, it's my dear. It's my dear mommy back home in Belfast. She, she's falling in and she's got nobody to help her. I need to take it back there before it's too late. And... I've got no one here. That's either the saddest story I've ever heard, or the worst lie. Either way, you deserve that. Oh, bless you, mate. Oh, bless you, mate. Bless you. I I'll not forget this. I'll do you a favor back one day. You'll see. Good night, lad. Hey, Paul. What's up, mate? I can't wait to Billy's bar no more. Not in that hell hole. I don't want to let you down, Paul. I like hear you sound, but I tell you, I don't know what I was thinking. Listen, I've seen you in that ring. You had balls of steel, man. What's the matter with you? There's nothing wrong with you. You'll be OK, trust me. I've seen a lot of life. Now, come on. Be all right.
just don't think I can take it anymore. You and Tom should talk. Get counselling. We've talked and talked. We've had treatment. We've had counselling. That's an impossible situation. Not for me, for him. Then you should get out. Get your life back. It took me a long time after I left Rachel. But it was worth it in the end. Because I just didn't love the woman. Chris, are you okay? You, Tom. Come in. That's crunched a lot of bones, that has, matey. You waiting for World War Three or what? Toys, just toys, matey. What's that? That is our queen. Why? Because I watched my back for 18 years with a bunch of racist motherfuckers, and that earned me the right to hang it there. So are you a proudy then? Orange through and through. The sash my father wore. That's me, kiddo. Mr. Fucking Awkward. It's Bob. Chongi wants us to join his firm. Pass me my boots over. Help me get into them. Well? I'll think about it. Don't fuck with my airport. I'm not a banjo you play a tune on. Yeah, next to 20 for what? Selling drugs to kids? I might be cabbage looking, but I ain't no fucking turn up. Nah, none of that. We're strictly legit. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a fucking flying pig I see up there? Listen, I'm doing you a favour. I'm getting you out of a major situation and putting a bit of extra dollar in your pocket. Don't kick a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, well, here's my answer. You tell Chongi if he fucks with me, he'll be pissing blood out of his fucking ass. Do I look worried, eh? Do I look fucking worried? Oi! This is your friend talking. I went through the same shit you did, and I'd be there for you if I could. You're fucked. This, if anyone tries to take it. You're nuts. Let's have a look at that. 
You could make a few quid, you know, if you stop listening to everything your Uncle Paul says. Oh. Easy, just start knocking a few people out and demanding it. What's this? It's cool. I'm grafting with Mary, my woman. Get out of order, smoke it outside. Fuck off. Do what the man says or I'll part your hair with this bottle. You're all right, you. But I'm not sure about this prick, brother. I'm not your brother. It's all right, he's with me. It's OK, Tom. Just leave it. Leave it, Jimmy. What are you doing, Jimmy? You're really fucking bringing it on top for me, do you know that? You want to get me the chop. Them two pricks are living on borrowed time. Oh, it's so fucking blatant what you were doing. You were winding them up. I think you better go. Hit me with a fucking duster. Not me wallet. Me chain. Me fucking chain. And now he's fucking with your man, Jimmy. I want him to... This is bad for business. I'm not asking you. I'm fucking telling you. Don't point that at me. <laughs> And I'm telling you, don't you ever put a gun at me again. <laughs> You're getting soft, Chonky, man. You're like a big, soft businessman. And I'm from the streets. If something's not done about this, every knobhead that comes along is gonna think they can have us off. And what am I supposed to do, lads? Grease me ass like a fucking bitch! Church is over there. All right, Bob. How's Tommy? Not too bad. What's up? Yeah, go ahead. No beef of you, you know. Yeah. How long have you got before work? A couple of hours, why? Wanna show you something? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just a man. Don't you trust me? You could say, um, 10 grand cash from the Christmas bucket, I'll do chat from upstairs for me and Johnny, and all you have to do is turn me out a cheek every once in a while. Fuck me, that sounds good. Open your eyes, mate. You're living in the dark ages. Welcome to the here and now, Tommy. The Marcus of Queensbury's dead. This is what it's all about. Are we? Anyway, 
anyway. This is all small potatoes. Got a surefire winner going down with a big time property developer for Series Wedge. All legit and all, by the way. Well, I see here, man Chong, he's none the wiser. Correct. And you know what? Even if someone let slip, he wouldn't believe him anyway. All right, Chongy. Bob. Chongy, you know Tom, didn't you? Of course I do. All right, Tom. Good to have you on board. cash you got on your chongy? Nice. This is a small change, mate. And how much you got on you? Fuck all. Exactly. Now, this could be yours, and working with us, no fucker would ever take it from you. Ever. Here. Take it. Go on. No strings. No sweat. There's plenty more where that came from. I know things should be done. That's good to hear, because it needs doing right now. Yeah. It ain't friendly like this over in Northern Ireland, you know. Oh, here we go. Soldier bullshit. It's not bullshit, mate. I've been there, remember? Stop, Betty! Stop! Oh, my R.A. boys were bad. You piss off them crazy proddy bastards in East Belfast, and if they're feeling charitable, they warn you with a bullet in an envelope. And if they're not, which is most of the time, they shoot you in the head before they even worry about whether you're the right fucking person or not. And that's the truth. And Paul would know all about that, wouldn't he, being into all that orange shit? Yeah, he had a rep over there, true enough. Well, he would do, wouldn't he? I mean, it's not often you see a crazy black man down a Shanky Road. Chalky Mandela, they called him. Well, Chalky Mandela ain't on Shanky Road anymore. If you don't get me a result pronto, you need to back away. Because I'm going to start making Billy's Bar my local. <laughs> hey, Tom. Stop, Paul. Been thinking about this lot, you know. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to say I appreciate you standing by me, you know. But this is my shit. And I'm asking you to step down while you can. What do you mean? And you sound, Tom. You sound, you know. But this kind of shit, one way or another, it turns you bad without you even knowing it. And I'd hate to think of that happening to you. No way, Paul. I I'm there for you. It's just, just... You know... What? <sighs> well, I just think that we should throw him at Chongi, that's all. I see. I, I, I mean, what's the big problem? He'd be making big dough. We met before, you know. A long time ago. When? When you beat that yank, got your tail shot. I came into your dressing room afterwards. You were fucking buzzing, you know. Everyone wanted a piece of you. You don't remember this, but I offered you a wedge, and you wouldn't take it. Never forgotten that. How much did they offer you? I was gonna be a world champion! Remember? If it's alone, then we'll alone now! It'll be a fucking hand off! You know, when I got out the services, I cleaned up in this town. You know, cleaned up. Tickets to all the fights, that kind of thing. You got any kids? What, what are you going on about? I do. 
a daughter. She died in a junky flat. Hooked on smack. And I never even knew. I was too busy making a fortune selling the stuff. I don't even know if her fix came from me. But it may as well have done. My son and I... I'd understand better than most if you throw in with that lot. But if you do... Just make sure you give me a wide berth, eh? Yo, who's this? This is Tom. Tom, what's going on? Count me out, Chongy. That's your loss. Chongy. Bob, it's me. Yeah? What's up? I'm a fucking muppet for listening to you. What's happened? You make Tom just fucking punch on his paw, and I'm getting what a result. What are you talking about? That's Santa Paul, yes? Yeah, bad job. Be in in a minute, I think. Hey, hey, she's not coming then. I caught a solid tablet. Hey, love, you're not coming in, OK? Why? I think you know why. You're not coming in, OK? Mr Big fucking Bouncer, I'll get you blown away. Hey, you little fucking slag. I'll give it a slap in a minute, I'll fuck off. Your brains will be all over this road in a minute, you fucking meathead. Everyone knows you're gonna get out off anyway. You don't exist! <laughs> now go get a fucking rocket off. Who are head. you talking to? You fucking idiot. You don't know I'm hard to find. You're getting smoked, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Come on, let's you go. You don't want to get any fucking poxy cover. Fucking anyway. shit all. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Tom tonight, you're on your own. All right, Charlie. All right, kid. All right. No worries, Tony Coke's breath. <laughs> Where's the chalk ice? He'll be in in a minute. I'll tell him you're asking after him. See that? Oh, mate, that. Go to the bar and get yourself a drink on me. I'm all right. Nice one. All right, Bill. Later, bomber clad. He's had one over the ace. He's definitely going out, lad. Come on, easy. He's going out. What about us? You're going to throw us out, see? Anyone who fucking touches him, I'm going to twat them with this. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, lads? All right, Paul. You got something on your mind? Nothing, I can't wait. Come on, lads, let's listen to it. Might see you again sometime. You okay? Glad you're here, mate. 
So do we get a retainer or what? I don't pay retainers. Why should I break a precedent just for you, eh? Eh? Not a pound, not a penny will I pay. This is no joke, Billy. They've just torched my fucking flat and he nearly took an iden for you. There he is as always fist and you turn a blind eye. Now there's drugs being sold on these premises and I pay good money to get that sorted. There's drugs being sold on every fucking premises in the whole world, so what about that? No, 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 with respect, no one talks down to me in my own place. I'd send the keys back to the fucking breweries rather than someone dictate to me that. Who are you calling, lad? You can stick your job up your fucking ass! Come on. Yeah, that's right. Go on, walk off the job. You're fucking sacked anyway. I, I, I worked the doors on my own. Hey, go on. Piss off, couple of fruits. If you were a younger man, I'd kill you stone dead. We run a door for you, Billy. Do a better job than them two tosses. Two, three, Marcel. Two, three, man. That's it, you know. Paul and uh, the other fella, they walked out on me. Uh, well, a couple of your best lads, like, you know. You'll have to take what I give you. Yeah, OK, OK, but, uh, you know, make, 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 make them good lads. You know, you know what I'm asking, don't you? Of course. You'll have to pay a retainer. Listen, soft old bastard. I know this fucking dive. It's in the friggin' Wild well West, and you're not bloody Billy the Kid. And I'm telling you, you'll pay the retainer, and you'll take the lad to give you. Okay. Now listen. Fucking messing. Come on, you old son. Leave it. He'll keep. He's got to come up for the piss sometime. Usual, is it? Hey, bollocks. Times today I ask you for extra manpower. 
This isn't you. I've just had a fucking gun put to me head. He's telling you the truth, Paul. Is that right? Well, where the fuck were you when I needed you, eh? Hey, go on. Hey, get us a drink, will you, Kelly? I got a car, but my nerves are shot. Get the te tequila. You're the one I got from Mexico. Cancun, yeah. Aye. Uh, Proper drink, you tight bastard. <coughs> All right. Right by me, Billy. I will, lad. I will, I will, I will. This is a surefire winner, Mr. Briggs. As you can see. Looks good. It's rock solid. A hundred percent bona fide. What about you? Look, Mr. Briggs, I may not be part of your gentleman's club just yet. Let's not <laughs> bullshit one another. This thing was meant to be. Well, if it's as good as what you're saying and as good as what I think, we could have ourselves a deal. When? We need to move fast on this one. Tomorrow night. That's for definite. Show me what. Way, Bob. Get my fucking way right now. No, you listen up. You might want to go down and believe me. If these two clowns have anything to do with it, you will. But my neck's on the line here too. No, I'll take care of this so no one need know. When? Tomorrow night. And then we're through. I've got bigger fists to fry in this small time shit. Hey, Paul. What? I reckon we're in a lot of trouble now, you know. Nothing like stating the obvious, kiddo. Well, I'm no Einstein, am I? Otherwise, I'd find a way out of this thing. Don't sweat it. Stick with me and you'll be bulletproof, kiddo. Bob, it's me, Tom. Listen, Tom, if you were smart, you'd do like me and step away. This has got nothing to do with us anymore. This is strictly between Chongi and your mate, Chalky Mandela. Irish, wake up. Remember me? Uh, what about you, my girl? How's your mum? What? Who? I need you to do a bit of business for me. Get me three rocks and a bride. I'll do anything for you. Smoke. You know, people think I'm punched on. But if this works out right, they'll think differently for sure. I'm with you, Mucker. I won't let you die.
And that's it? Yep. But that's the big favor. Just hand this over to that Shangi fella and say the words. That's right. Then get the fuck out of there, sharpish. No problem, Nate. No fucking problem. It isn't King Grass himself. What do you mean? He's gone on his holidays. I, I need to deliver a package on behalf of uh, Susie. Which associates would he be? Uh, from East Belfast. East Belfast. On behalf of uh, Mr. Um, uh, Charlie Mandeller. Charlie He'll Mandela. know who I need. Don't understand what I said. No, I need to deliver that to Charlie. No, not here. I need to see Charlie. You stay with me. Look. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I'll see you next time. No problem, Tiger. I'll see you next time. At least Billy had sense enough to keep it quiet for a while. Nothing but deadbeats in there. I'm just going to give it a check, eh? Give me a real gun with real ammunition. Are you sure about that, John? I think I'm whiskey instead. Give me a glass of water and my mouth dry. Fuck it, you Tonight, kid. Not tonight.
Well, oh, bury me now. Aces and aces. All alone. Read them and we pass. These words came low. What does he do that? You sure them cards ain't my cowboy? Put at the back of the table. I don't want to be sleeping. I'm going for a piss. I want you. Get rid of Mary yes, I do. But we paid no heed to his dying. Six by three. Stop. Well, we buried him there on the long prairie. Well, oh, bury me now. Oh, I'll see you, mate. See you tomorrow. All right, mate. You have a good one, eh? Hey, buddy, look. Get out of the way, you muppet. I'm trying to save your partner's neck. Chunky, what are you doing? Tom! Oh, Tom, get hold of me! No! No, Me! Wait. Jesus. Don't ask. Have to go, Mary. We better get out of here now. What for? We haven't done anything wrong, have we? No. Huh? I'm running for an ambulance. Come on, Paul, for fuck's sake! Coming, I'm coming. Get 
Tom. Hear me? What fucking hero? See you, mate. You're slumming it, aren't we, Bob? I wanted to talk to you about, you know, all this shit. <laughs> hey, Tom, that Romeo Brown's one crazy fucker. I, I tried to tell Chongy you picked the wrong side, but he just wouldn't listen. What do you want, Bob? I want you to know that whatever shit you've heard, <laughs> it ain't true. I did my best for you two, I swear. You have heard shit, haven't you? Plenty. Like the last call Chongi made before he got shot was to you, Bob. Yeah, well, I, I can explain. What, what the... Bulletproof. <laughs> 